I miss the intensity of life. It's like the colors of the sky and the sunset and the ocean have all diminished and are now grayer. And they're still there. There's still color and beauty, but just not the same, not the same. My name is Steve Hume, and I have Alzheimer's disease. I value two things about myself in life um, the most, and that is my intellect. Uh, I always was very proud of my intellect and my, my um, cognitive abilities. Um, the other is my, or is my ability to connect with other people in, in very deep and meaningful ways. I'd say the person who was born, uh, the brunt of it is my partner, Candy. We were setting up a, a framing system for TARP that I had built, and she kept saying, move the pole to the left, and I would move it to the right. And she'd say, no, the other way, move it the other direction. I keep moving it in the wrong direction. And she couldn't understand that. One uh, weekend at the camp, Candy sat me down and had what she calls the hardest conversation she's ever had in her life. And that's when she told me that she really thought there was something cognitively wrong with me. Candy and I went to the appointment with the neurologist. He said, I can tell you with 95% surety, he said that it's Alzheimer's. And we were just both in shock. He just looked at us and said, your world will progressively shrink until it becomes the size of the chair you're sitting in. That was his way of describing my future. And at that moment, I vividly remember closing my eyes and seeing a room with all these doors with sunlight outside, all slammed shut. And now I was in a, a, I was just in the dark. I still am afraid. I'm still angry. I still miss the parts of me that I don't have anymore. That hasn't changed. But the, the real angst, I think, from struggling with it has passed. There are 5.3 million people with Alzheimer's disease now in the country. There are maybe 300 to 400,000 people who have been diagnosed before the age of 65. We need to raise the consciousness of people in this country about Alzheimer's, about the fact that it affects families and not just your, you know, your 85-year-old grandmother. And the only way to do that is through visibility. I've always wanted to say this to Candy and never have yet. In the time to come, if I no longer thank you for making a wonderful breakfast or thank you for buying me a little something that I wouldn't have bought for myself, or if I forget to say I love you, please know that I I still do, and I will always be grateful for everything you do now and everything that I know you'll have to do in the future. So as caregivers, please know how important what you do is and how truly lonely this disease would be without you.